Hey everyone, this is CVGS. It's me, Brandon, today bringing to you the BSC 36 Greatest Record 2020. This is the story of a battle that has yet to end. As the name of the set goes, BSC 36 is a reprint set where the greatest slash most staple cards of Battle Spirits handpicked by Bandai are being reprinted. Cards like Seagull Nova, Farum, Alex, and other great cards are being reprinted in this set. A great box to start grabbing these staples for decks that were hard to find before. Each box is guaranteed a double X ray, so that the cards are more accessible than the usual ratios of their original sets. The set contains 20 packs, with 6 cards per pack, and the rarities are as follows 36 commons, 24 rares, 12 master rares, 12 X rares. 6 double x rays with 12 of these cards being parallel secret arts. Now taking a look at the box, it has a very nice azure background with the name of the set Greatest Record written in the middle as if the gate of Bell Spirit's history stands before you as your journey begins. The back of the box has also the same design as well. Now taking a look at the packs inside, ah, wow! It also has the front page of the box as well. Very, very clean, very, very sturdy, as if the set has been reprinted in history. Now, without further ado, let's move on to opening the pack, shall we? Gator open! Kaiho! And we're back! So now that we have opened up the box, and wow, these foil pools are amazing! Sasuga Greatest Record! Uh, these reprints of the greatest cards in Battle Spirits are no joke. So let's go over what, they, what we got. As per usual, we'll only be covering the extra and higher rarity cards. For more information on the card list and their translations, follow World of Cards on Facebook, link in the description down below. Now, without further ado, let's start, let's kickstart with our double X. One of the double X's of this set, the Zodiac Deity, uh, the Galaxian Deity, my apologies, Zodiac Pews. Uh, Zodiac Pews was the one of the first advent cards to be released in Battle Spirits itself, since it was in BS39, right before BS40, the uh, legitimate start of the era of uh, Radiant Descent. So, Zodiac Pews has a Radiant Descent ability, so by sending the so-called so to your trash during either player's attack stack, you can stack this card onto your target spirit, which is Galaxian, cost 5 and above. Now, on attack, uh, when this spirit attacks, you can send one card from this uh, uh, spirit, spirit's pre advent and this spirit refreshes and it can't be blocked. Uh, on level 2 and 3, during descension, this uh, spirit is unaffected by your opposing effects. Now, back in the day when uh, advent first came out, a lot of uh, cards that are really really huge, like Zodiac Pills here, could be cheated out, with sli uh, cheated out by having slightly smaller things to be able to stack uh, on top of. And considering the fact that Zodiac Pills has a refreshing effect and allows it to be unblockable, makes it a very, very, very scary uh, Galaxian, especially when it has two symbols as well. The unaffected uh, effect, while still in this engine state, is really great as well because it could sit there as either a big blocker or another attack, uh, or really sturdy attacker as well. So it's a really, really great card to see now being reprinted in this set. Now, moving on to the next extra. This was a very surprising one because I didn't expect this to get reprinted at first. But we have the Demon God Dragon Rider Gardea. It's a death dragon with the ability when you summon an Imagine Brave while this card is in your trash, you can summon this card without paying the cost. And when Brave, level 3, when this spirit attacks, if Brave to an Imagine Brave, you can destroy one opposing spirit with 3 cores or more. Now, Gardea was used back in the day when New Siegfried was running around. Uh, and Nusik Free needed a cost six, cost 6 or higher spirit to uh, descend on. Uh, it was combined with Grish Crash along with a lot of uh, cards that draw and discard, like Strong Draw, Mantra Draw, Solo Tail, so on and so forth. Heck, even the pilots that were recently released in Gundam could be used for this. Now, it, create, it makes the deck much more consistent, and with Imagine Braves usually averaging at most being 5 cost, and some being 2 to 3 cost. Gardea can be cheated out very easily, thus leading to a very strong Lucid Creep turn. Now moving on to the next card, another well, another famous card that uh, we all kind of hated and loved at the same time was the 33rd Chief of Fuma, Yatagarai. Now, 
uh, it's a ninja girl wing beast with an effect that says when this spirit is revealed from your uh, when it's open from the top of your deck or revealed, or revealed from your deck in general you can add it to your hand with a flash exile effect exhaust 3 opposing spirit and ultimates and for each uh, spirit ultimate that you exhaust by this effect you can refresh one of your spirits and when it is being summoned you can add 2 cards from void to your spirits now, Yatagarai was a really really strong card when Ninja Gear was very rampant alongside Nusik because of the fact that Ninja Gear in general summons a lot of spirits for free by opening off their top deck and with the additional cost from its on summon it can man it's able to maintain more spirits along with Kulaga Kulaga Slayer and also the Axel effect supports the deck in a sense where if your uh, Ninja Gear spirits are already exhausted and you want to break down your opponent's defense so that you can restand again and push the Axel effect is a great choice to use as well. And now it is commonly seen inside the green ramp deck, quote unquote my forbidden deck, along with Ragnarok and other great cards. Moving on, we will have the Feudal Lord of the Seven Seas, Shiro Nagasu. So, Shiro Nagasu is a soul burst effect, uh, has a soul burst effect, and it's a Lord and Beast hit. When your opponent destroys your spirit, destroys or depletes your spirit, uh, destroy every uh, opposing spirit. Uh, not, not every opposing, destroy every spirit with Lord or Beast Head that doesn't have the family Lord or Beast Head, I'm sorry and then after this effect, it, uh, effect resolves, you can summon this card without paying the cost Level 2 and 3, when this spirit attacks, if your life is 3 or less you can destroy, uh, not you can, bleh destroy one opposing spirit ultimate of cost equal or lower to this spirit and during this turn this spirit gains one blue symbol for each symbol of the destroyed spirit or ultimate. Now, looking at how big Shironagasu here being 12 cost, there are very very little things in the game that kind of reaches this cost, uh, ignoring the brave cost. Is it ignoring the brave cost? No, it doesn't ignore the brave cost, I'm sorry. But in general, there's not many st uh, not many things that are higher than cost 12. So Shironagasu has uh, always been a sturdy bot player because in a Sobers deck, most of the time, your cards are not, or you really just needed a very strong bot clear because not a lot of cards uh, in the meta nowadays have the lot family unless looking at Madarasu <laughs> stairs. Yeah, but uh, regardless of that, it's a very strong bot clear with a very nice finisher at the end if you needed a final push. Now, the last card that we got here was Topaz Key Spirit combined with Jay's Key Spirit. The Sacred Emperor Siegfrieden. It is an arm machine, automation, automaton, and uh, ancient dragon. With a soul burst effect, when your opponent in hand size increases by their effect, you can summon this card without paying the cost. Uh, and it's on summon effect, you can reveal the top 3 cards of your deck and add any number of spirit cards with the family ancient dragon or arm machine to your hand, and the rest of the cards are discarded. And level 2 and 3 when this spirit attacks, by uh, ignoring the brave cost, you can destroy any number of opposing spirit ultimates up to a total of cost 8. Now, what makes Sick Freedom so strong back in the day? Well, because alongside Ragnarok, uh, Noblesse, and Yggdrasil, uh, which is the quote-unquote white ninja gale, back then when no Sick Freedom was also running around, most of these cards were from that era as well, um, uh, Sick Freedom was a quote-unquote draw source when, your, uh, when the opponent increases their hand size through their effects. And alongside cards like the Batiman de Gale and Frozen Volcano, it kind of generates an advantage that most other decks don't get. And being a nine cost double, having a nine cost double symbol on like turn one after your opponent increases their hand size is pretty pretty huge. And it's also a great card to push uh, push for damage with as well, since ancient uh, being cost nine and all. So, wow, these reprints are really getting me cold and chilly. This um. And so many other cards are being reprinted in the set as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this box opening as much as I did. And if you like what we do, subscribe to our channel uh, and click on the bell button to receive notifications on our later vi latest video releases. You could also follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and you can join our Discord server as well, where me and the guys will be there on most nights, linking in the description below. Uh, we hope everyone is staying safe now with the COVID-19 situation and we hope to see you again in the next video. Johnny!